of the awakenings that we're doing and goodness me 22 22 days and what do I want to talk about today I think today I want to talk about what do you do when people are low and or depressed or in a not big space and you want to help them but the thing about depression I'm just going to make myself comfortable here I don't know what like the thing about depression is you can't always help people when they're low and in depression. I should know that from my own experience of depression. Depression is, is a very complex thing. It's a very individual, unique thing to a lot of people. And a lot of the time depression is blocked creativity, uh, blocked anger, blocked fear and it manifests in this complete feeling of I don't like this, um, apathy kind of feeling, numbness, not wanting to be here, yada yada yada. So as you know I'm helping you navigate from the dark into the light. So today I want to talk about a bit about depression and how it can be quite dark a lot of the time for a lot of people, and God knows, as I said, I have it. I go through a lot of depression. And with me, depression comes from, I don't know, sometimes it comes from exhaustion. Sometimes it comes from pain in the body. Uh, that, sometimes it comes from frustration, boredom, um, overwork or not working at all, lack of balance, um, loneliness. Um, there's lots of reasons why you can get depressed and I know with me, you know, um, when I can, confusion can cause depression and um, so I know myself well enough to understand what to do and how to lift myself and usually I can lift myself by distracting, by doing some music, usually doing music, usually writing my music or composing or arranging something seems to get me out of it because it gives me some kind of direction and it helps me to move on so going into the light here and um, the reason I called this moving on TV and I call my theatre moving on theatre is because to me to move on is one of the most important things in life to take that little step and move on into another little step another and it really, really helps with the depression when I get it. It's that because I can expect big things from myself. I mean, today I wanted to do tarot on the beach. I was going to combine a beach scene with my tarot and I couldn't get it to work. My webcam's rubbish. I've just ordered another one. And so I, I thought, well, it's very easy for me if I can't do it because I'm also a bit of a perfectionist sometimes. Oh my God, I can't do it. Okay, Lauren, you've got to stop. You've got to eat. You've got to take care of yourself. And that's also when I use HALT. Don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, or too tired. Okay? And I suggest that to anyone who gets depressed. The most important thing with depression is don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, or too tired. And I always push that, don't get too hungry, make sure you eat. Because if you don't eat, the blood sugar will, will not be good. Your blood sugar will not be balanced, you know, and that can cause problems. It can cause depression, it can go, cause low state. If you get too angry, as I said, it'll all get blocked inside you. You need to release it and bring it up and bring it up. I have a lot of anger in me and it comes out sometimes sideways, Sometimes it comes out the right way, <laughs> you know. Um, and then don't get too lonely. Loneliness is, is difficult at the moment because we're living in isolation. Some of us are in total isolation. And the people we're living with, we may not be resonating with. 
some of you. We may not get on with them at all. We may feel that they just are not, it's not coming together kind of feeling. We may not connect. We may not, you know, there, there are issues that are coming up around relationships all the time, you know, and lots of stuff. So it could be around that. Um, but, you know, loneliness is a big one. So uh, what I tend to do is I get on here and I do my awakenings and I do my programs and I connect on Facebook and I connect on Zoom and, you know, and I have a partner and my cats and, and I can talk to him and deal with stuff most of the time um, but I miss my family and I never occasionally I hear from them so but I can't let myself go down that lonely road I have to really get out there and I do a tarot reading or something you know something that stops the loneliness but it's okay sometimes to be lonely because sometimes we need to learn how it feels you know and don't get too tired. It's such a massive one. You know, if you're not sleeping, if you're not sleeping, then depression's going to be waiting at the door to jump right in because you cannot recover from anything without sleep. Your immune system doesn't recover without sleep. Your emotions, nothing can recover without sleep. So halt is very, very important. That's the light going from the darkness into the light. It'd be very interesting to see what cards we pulled today in how to stay sane in a crazy world because the cards are actually have got a hold card in there. <laughs> and you can watch the film, How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World. I've done playlists now. Please watch the programs, use them, you know, like, subscribe, share. But the whole point is for you to use them at the moment. They're just there for you on Living on TV. So today, because I care, a friend of mine was very low. People are low. Um, and there's Lauren thinking, I don't know, how can I help this person? And straight away, that maternal feeling that, that wants to jump in and do something because they care. Um, thinks, well, I will use the techniques that I'm using. And so I sent something to this person. That really helped me. Um, watching and detaching a little bit. Of course, meditation, this person knows this. Um, but it's hard and I need to step back, step back and try to understand that I need to fix me as well. I have issues and it's not like I'm 100% happy at the moment I'm, or balanced because life is throwing all sorts of stuff at me like it is at all of you. Um, I never watch the news, that's a big one. And I've been watching very, very positive psychics on YouTube to show me that we are going to be fine. There's nothing to worry about. So it, that really, really helps me. But as I said, I, I find it difficult to be around someone who's depressed. You see, when I was growing up, um, I wasn't allowed to have my feelings. And I was told that I, I was big. So you, you could hold everyone, Lauren. You're able to hold everyone. You, you're the mother hen. We're not worried about you, Lauren. And so I wasn't allowed to have my feelings as a child. I had a lot of panic and sadness in me. And I wasn't allowed to have that. I wasn't allowed. So I grew up without the validation of knowing that it's okay to be me. It's okay to have these issues. And I also grew up thinking that I've got to be there to protect everyone, to make everyone well. And people run away from that a lot of the time. If you're too mothering, if you're too over the top, because they want to sort themselves out. And what right have I got to take away someone's spiritual journey? I understand that. In the therapeutic community, it was all about balance. So if you were too narcissistic, your job was to start taking care of of people more, if you were narcissistic enough, if you were all about everybody else, then you were put on contracts to, sponsor, to support others, to find that balance. Therapeutic community was all about coming into balance. So isn't that the answer? The answer is balance. The answer is always balance. Always, always, to me, it's always balance. Everything that I do, challenge, my channeling that I get, 
to balance me, to balance, to balance the body, to do the uh, Falun Gong, to do the uh, yoga, gentle yoga, to balance the body, to balance the masculine and the feminine, to balance my outgoing love and the ingoing love. And maybe again, depression can also be caused when you're giving too much and you're not getting enough. Where am I in this equation? I've got loss. You know, depression will come when you feel that you're lost. So I hope this helps a little bit, bringing you into the light a little bit. So if you feel lost, you need to say, hey, I'm here. And again, in the therapeutic community, we had the bell. We rang the bell and said, hey, I'm here. And you need to listen. You need to really listen now because I'm here and I want you to listen to me. It's time to listen to me. Because moving on TV gives me the great opportunity to do that. It, it, it's so much fun for me because I get, I'm an actress and there's nowhere to perform. And so I perform here. I wear my hair different every day or a wig or, or whatever. You know, I could change my appearance. <laughs> there you go. Or not. So it's really exciting. So I... I would recommend that everyone find their own moving on TV. Find your own dream. Find your own way of expressing. If you're not expressing enough, express a little bit more. You know, another friend of mine said that they, we were chatting the other day and they said how cool it would be that they had their own radio station. So I said, well, do it. Nothing would stop me. I wanted my own TV station and this is it. So do it, you know, <laughs> you just get on there, you just practice, you learn how to do it, do it. Then your depression, it's very difficult for it to survive when you're being creative. Creativity is so important, so important. Okay, I'm going to pull a how to stay sane in a crazy world card. Now this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Sorry about the webcam, it's not ideal. I'll get another one tomorrow because I got a refund for the other one. It was total crap. All the colors were running into each other. I don't know if you could see that. That was um, on the awakening number 20. Um, the colors were, I kept mentioning something wrong with it and I thought it was Zoom. It wasn't, it was the webcam. Okay, I'm asking for pure synchronicity here. We've got the key to the door again. Isn't that interesting? I had that one before. I was reading for Pisces sign. Okay. Car 21, the key to the door. They say when you reach 21, you have the key to the door. Today, I would like you to think about what is the key to yours. What did I just say? Find your dream. Mine is moving on TV and moving on theater. Why am I doing it? How did I get to the level that I could do this? Okay. I don't have the responsibilities that some people have. I don't have kids. I don't have to, uh, you know, to bring them up. I don't have to spend a lot of time with them. I could spend all the time I want on Lauren, which is a real amazing thing now, because I always used to feel jealous not having kids and a family. But so I am able to do that. But you really do need to find, think about your key, the key to your door. If you're not happy, if you're not happy, if you're getting depressed and something is saying to you, this is the awakening, my dear. This is the awakening, sweetheart. Really try and find that key to help you open that door, to help you find your dream. You know, climb every mountain like the song. Climb every mountain until you find your dream. Are you living your life the way you want? Well, you couldn't be because then... You wouldn't be getting depressed because you only get depressed when you're not living your life the way you want. Have you opened the door to your dreams? No, you, you obviously, you may be starting to, but you haven't yet. Well, you chose this card because you are now an adult. It's your time to open the door to joy and happiness. What is holding back your joy and your happiness? Take your metaphorical key and open that door. And if you want help, I'm a trained life coach and the way that I run Moving On TV and Moving On Theatre is with life coaching techniques. I can help you open that door. If you want to run a business, if you want to have your own radio station, 
you want to come on to moving on tv and do your own shows use it as a platform to grow together to grow together you may need therapy if you're in serious depression i'm not a doctor and i do say that you may need therapy so you know you need to go to a doctor if it's really affecting your life badly um i'm not i'm now ready and mature enough to open the door to the life that will bring me joy and inspiration that i want okay i am now ready and mature enough to open my door to the life that will bring me the joy and inspiration i want so that's it so um i cannot fix anyone i can help and i can give techniques and i can be there as a good friend if you want me to a nurturing loving friend because i'll do anything for my friends i'm there for my friends um i just don't want to be carried down into a spiral of negativity but you can detach with love you learn how to do that and i'm quite capable of doing that if and when i need to if someone is really struggling with depression and um, so pick up that phone and call me if you're feeling low but I will not spiral down with you. That's not the way I work. <laughs> I will see beyond, like A Course in Miracles, I will see that that is the ego working in you, the fear, the panic, the depression. You can always ring the Samaritans, 116123, and talk to them. You know, I think we need to be very vigilant at the moment at what we do with our lives. We're going through a really serious time, a huge awakening. The energies are all over the place. They're not settled yet. There's so much coming at us and we don't know what's going on half the time. So my recommendation is to step back, to meditate, to think about how can I balance myself? How can I balance myself? If there's too much negativity, then I don't want it anymore. What makes me feel good? Can I just watch the world a little bit? What makes me feel good? Take out a piece of paper, write down everything you love doing, everything you love doing, and get going on it. Set tiny, tiny steps. And if you can't do it, well, you know where I am. Okay, PM me uh, on Facebook, moving on TV, Facebook, or email me, moving on TV1 at gmail.com. If you want to do your own show and help your depression alleviate that way then please come on to moving on tv if you want live coaching psychic readings whatever i can do to help um, i'm giving away everything at the moment and i love it. It's, it to me i love it i love getting on the air every day i feel the minute i put the camera in front of me you are there you're there and i know that moving on tv is going to move mountains it already is even though i may not have a lot of views yet but it doesn't matter because it's I can feel the connection with the human race and, and everything, the universe. The minute I go on here, I can feel I'm connecting, I'm connecting. I'm giving you that good ass prana, babe, <laughs> as Ralph Smart would say. So there you go. So I hope this helps you feel a little bit better today. And I hope it makes you understand that you can't fix everybody. You can't fix anyone really. They need to, it needs to come from within themselves. You can give them love and, you know, you can give them a lot of love and make them know that you love them and care about them. That is the most important thing that that person needs when they're going through depression. It's validation for their feelings. Um, the, the amount of frustration that I've gone through in my career as a musician, as an artist and as a healer and someone who recovers without uh, drugs, whatever, has been so enormous that I'm surprised I'm still here sometimes. But I am, because I received incredible validation here from my, my husband. And also because of the amount of work I did on myself, I do on myself. I validate me every single day. Lauren, what would you like to do today? How can I help you today? You are the most important person in your life okay never forget that you are the most important person in your life and if anyone ever told you different then no you are the most important person in your life let that sink in you have a right to your dreams you have a right 
to, to, to succeed. You have a right to cry. You have a right to be happy. You have a right to be unhappy. We are going through a massive awakening. Give yourself a chance to feel everything, everything, everything. You will come through, my darlings. And if you need any help, you know where I am. You've now got a playlist of all the awakenings. I hope you can use them in some way to take you from the dark into the light. Because I am in the light when I talk to you. I'm in 5D. I'm in the moment. And I hope that this is coming from here. My heart is wide open. I love you lots. I protect this with my angel. My angel, I would say that. Archangel Michael protects us all in this reading. I send you love and blessings. Violet flame protects us all. Take care. Have a beautiful, beautiful day or evening, wherever you are, whenever this goes on. To the awakening playlist. Take care. You can find them all on Moving on TV. If you go on Facebook, Moving on TV, the page Moving on TV on Facebook. You'll see our logo, which you can see on here. And then click and just keep going. There is a list now, a playlist. You can actually click on the comedy playlist, on the holistic playlist, on the heroes, interviews with heroes, like John Wedger and Mitchell Nicholas Gerber, uh, Mental Health, Mental Health Day, Mental Health itself. Uh, you can click on the tarot show and all the different tarot signs and ah, there's so much, so much, so much. I hope you enjoy moving on TV. I welcome your comments and as I say, I'm always looking for great hosts and hostesses. The cats are on and on at me. They want a program for themselves. So if you want to do a program about cats, be my guest. Take care. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>